Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. Welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to talk today real quickly about my search for a camera bag. Uh, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm going to talk a little bit about photography in this. I'm not going to turn this into a photography channel. However, uh, I do take a lot of photos and I do like to hike. Uh, hopefully I'll be back out quite soon. The weather right now is a little too cold in Northern California, but that's not my point. I have been looking for at least, I would say two to three years to find like that perfect camera bag. And it just doesn't exist. You know, everybody will try to tell you that Peter McKinnon's Nomadic bag is the best. And you know, obviously the huge launch and the Kickstarter behind that uh, generated a lot of buzz. It's a great bag. He has the everyday and he has, I think the travel one, but those bags cost like upwards of 300 to 400 to $500. And you don't get everything when you just buy the bag. You have to buy the accoutrements that come with it. And I just didn't really want to do that. So I obviously hopped on Amazon, watched a lot of reviews on YouTube and everything just kind of kept leading me back to building out my own kind of camera bag. And that's what I decided to do. Now, hold on. We're all familiar with camera cubes. Uh, these things really suck. They're about $19. You can find them on Amazon or any of your camera shops, but they're kind of just bulky and they, they fit quite nicely in any kind of day pack or any kind of backpack that you may have. But like getting to your gears tends to be a pain in the butt. But if you're going to go this solution without with building your own particular camera bag, you're going to have to sacrifice the accessibility. Uh, and there's there's ways around it after you can kind of get your camera out. But I kept looking and looking. I actually purchased this bag. This is the Thule Covert. This is a travel bag. This is a roll top. It actually uh, has enough room up here to hold probably a day's worth of clothing. It has a laptop holder, and that was one of the things that I really, really wanted. So everything kind of kept leading me back to these like commuter bags. And a commuter bag, if you don't know, is pretty much a backpack for adults, a school backpack for adults. It's not hiking related. Uh, it tends to have you know more compartments, more organizational, and so found this guy. This is the Osprey Tropos. If you look on Amazon right now, and I'll put links down below, you can find this for 90 bucks. It is an absolute steal. It's standing up on its own because it has a kickstand. I'm not reviewing the bag right now. I'll do that in a later video. But I wanted to talk about the two things that I found that carry all the camera gear that I would need for a day. Granted, I'm not a professional photographer, but it carries everything that I need for a day of shooting, which includes three lenses, which is quite a lot when you think about it. And obviously my camera. Now I'm not gonna be able to show you my camera because I'm shooting on it right now. It's a Sony a6400. Yes, I am a crop sensor guy. Uh, I've shot full frame in the past. I just think the lightness and the compactability, is that a freaking word? Yeah, that's a word, of a ASPC camera just is really kind of, it's more suitable for what I do. And even the photos that I have blown up, and I know you can't see that right there, but you can't tell. Everybody that I've ever gifted a photo where I've blown it up to poster size, you can't tell. Uh, now, granted, a professional photographer might pick it apart, but like, I'm not giving these things to professional photographers as gifts. Uh, and the ones that I do sell online, they're for people who just really want a nice picture in their home that's high quality that they're not going to pick apart. So anyway, let me just kind of jump into this. So the purpose of this video, as I get to it, uh, is really to kind of highlight on how you can save a ton of money, I think, just by building out your own particular camera bag with an existing backpack that you may already have uh, and or going out and buying something like this. I bought this specifically to travel with because it had a laptop sleeve, but like I said, not reviewing the bag right now. But let me show you the two things that I found that I thought were just absolutely fantastic for having and holding everything in that I would need for a day of shooting. First thing, Everybody knows Peak Design, right? Uh, if you don't, Peak Design is a high-end kind of bag company. I wouldn't even call them a, just a camera bag company. They make other bags, but they're a high-end bag company. They're actually based in San Francisco, farther south from me, but they make really high quality stuff. High quality comes with a price. This is their tech pouch. In here, I mean, let's just kind of go through it real quickly. I just kind of, kind of folds open like that. It's kind of an accordion design. This has, Three bag, I mean, has, I'm gonna have to do a whole different video on this, but this has everything that I would need for cleaning, battery charging. I have 
you know, a set of filters here for if I go see waterfalls and I want to slow it down and I need some sort of circular polarizer so I can see through the water. Or if I need an ND because it's too bright and I want to slow down the shutter speed. Cleaning solutions, uh, a ton of cleaning stuff. By the way, I'm just going to shout this out real quickly. These Zeiss wipes, found these in Walmart. Box of like a thousand was like five dollars and they're awesome if you wear glasses or anything like that. Kind of derailing as I typically do, but in here has the batteries, has the battery charger for my camera. So I only have two batteries in there. I have three batteries in there right now. One's on the camera, so two in there right now. So if something runs out, I can charge it. And there's something else that I'll bring up at the end on how I charge it. So Peak Design Tech Pouch holds a ton of stuff. $59 though, like I said, comes at the price, really, really not cost effective. They make things that are knockoffs, but like Peak Design's quality is just so phenomenal. But this, this right here, the Low Pro Gear Up, this is the large size. This will hold an ASPC camera very, very well, but it'll also hold a full frame camera plus two lenses not including the lens that you're shooting on. Now, right now I'm on an A6400 and I'm shooting on an 18 to 135 just because I can get the scope with it and I didn't want to put on a prime lens. But on the outside right here, there's a nice little zipper and that zipper just is clear and inside I have a Peak Design wrist strap, which is where I like to keep it. And then if you open it up, kind of the unique thing here is, get a little closer, this little buckle right here what it does is it prevents the zippers which are on the back from going all the way down so you can reach in and grab your camera really really easily um, but when you unbuckle it it unzips down all the way and gives you access to two other spots to hold lenses it's bright orange inside hard to miss anything Obviously the camera body with the current lens that I have on it goes on now. The 18 to 135 for the Sony ASPC is probably, I don't know, eight inches long. So it fits perfectly fine in here. And the body obviously fits because it's a, it's a, it's a crop sensor. But I have a Sigma 16 in here, uh, Prime, and then I have a Sigma 30 Prime in here too as well. Uh, for if I want to do something like close up or if I want to do kind of portrait shots of my daughter or any of the kids that are around or whatever it may be, or the dog now. so. These two things total around $81 together. And if you have an existing backpack, I don't see why people would go out and spend $300 on a McKinnon bag uh, or a Peak Design bag uh, just to say that they have it and carrying them around because the accessibility, as I mentioned before, you got to reach into your bag, get your camera out. But once your camera is out, that's why Peak Design makes these clips, right? They make the clips for the front of your bag and you kind of slide it on. It's on the bottom of the camera, obviously can't show you right now, but that's how you carry your camera around once you choose the lens that you have. You don't need to be going into your camera bag every two seconds. I know a lot of people like to have the camera bags that lay with the front facing down. I'm sorry, the back facing down, so the front opens up and you won't get your back dirty or any of your stuff dirty. That's fine and dandy, but those bags are huge and they're not comfortable. And the way that I look at it is, is that I've done a lot of reviews on Osprey bags on this channel. And obviously a big, huge fan of them, big, huge fan of Gregory bags, but like they have suspension systems and they're meant to be carried for long distances and for long periods of time. So Nomadic and Peak Design and some of the other bigger brands that make specific camera bags and even Low Pro, those bags are not comfortable. Do they have easier accessibility features on the side? Yes, they do, but it's not your bag. Now, because that Osprey down here, this is a 34 liter bag and there's a ton of pockets and pockets organization. Uh, one of the last things that I do wanna show you is this little tech pouch that I have. This little tech pouch right here was like $9 on Amazon. It's a no, no name kind of thing, but holds all my cords. Frankly, you don't need that many cords, but right here is a battery pack. Uh, it's about 10 milliamps. So if I needed to charge a battery for my camera during the day, I can do that because in the tech pouch, I have everything. This is something that I've been thinking about for a real long time because my search for a perfect camera bag really just led me nowhere. It led me to those crappy camera cubes and it led me to very expensive bags. I love that Thule bag. If I go on a vacation and I somehow need all of my lenses, which you never do, uh, I would bring that bag. I brought it to Florida over Christmas and it ended up being a mistake because it just it weighed a ton. 
uh, and it didn't carry well and I couldn't fit anything else in it really besides the camera gear and a drone. Um, and I don't fly my drone a ton anymore just because I just don't, you know, I have a Mavic Mini and it's just, I don't know, maybe I'll upgrade my drone sometime this year. But I wanted to bring these two things to light simply for the fact that it's cost effective. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Links will be down below, but instead of going out and trying to buy an expensive camera bag, just build your own. I don't know. Does that make sense? $80 versus $300, especially if you have a bag already laying in the house. And if you're like me, you probably have 50 <laughs> backpacks. Anyway, hey, I just kind of wanted to make this, trying to get back in the groove of actually making videos again. Thanks for watching these things. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Have a great day. Bye.